video. Now I'm going to show you a different video to what I usually do. I'm actually doing a video editing tutorial because I haven't done these in forever and I promise I'll, I would continue doing some um, uh, Kane live uh, video tutorials but I've been concentrating on doing Army 3D but due to a recent problem I haven't been able to upload any Army 3D and I've sort of um, uh, been stuck uh, with Army 3D for a moment so I decided to take a break and I'm going to show you like I said how to uh, make a chroma key effect which is obviously a green screen in effect when you remove the green uh, pixels from a video when you remove the green screen elements now I have here two uh, videos that I made uh, that is a uh, free that they are free to download uh, at Pixabay, uh, pixabay.com. I have created myself uh, an account uh, quite a while uh, back. And the videos I'm using are this uh, uh, visual effects uh, footage that I edited in a uh, spaceship that I made in Blender. And we also have this sliding, uh, not the sliding door, but this door that's opening up onto a green screen behind. It's pretty cool, it was quite fast to make, it's quick, it's cheap, as in it's free, and uh, it works. So if you want to go find that, you can go download it, link in description. Now back to the topic at hand, let's select our footage. This is gonna be the background, so I'm gonna select it in first, because the first goes uh, below. This is the top footage, and it goes on the top because it is the overlay. Now I'm actually uh, we're going to zoom zoom in a bit here, uh, but we're going to change the tab over to the effects up here. As you can see, it says effects, and you just click on that button up there, and it rearranges all the windows so you're based in the best possible uh, way to do effects. Now this is all you know to, to taste, so you can generalize it, you can uh, customize it. I mean. Uh, to your liking, but this is like the bit default thing for effects. As you can see, when we scroll along, we have nothing happening because this video does not have an uh, transparent an alpha channel. We need to add a uh, transparency to this green area. So with the top uh, clip uh, selected, we are actually going to type in chroma key because I don't know where it's localized. Uh, it's under alpha mask and keying. You can see we have a basic chroma key, we have an advanced chroma key. Now I'm going to show you the advanced because I assume the basic is pretty much the same thing. And as you can see, uh, we have our chroma key. Now it does seem a bit um, imposing, well the whole thing seems imposing, but just pay attention to this one color selector. We're going to select the color. And honestly, that's it. That's it. Forget about all these uh, numbers and things like that. All you need to do now is just uh, adjust the sliders. You don't even need to know what they do. Uh, obviously, if you have a background in video editing, you'll be able to know what's going on. Uh, but uh, as we can see, see the one thing you want to adjust is probably the soften. And a little quick tip: if you can't see, then you can either put your window in full screen, or you can actually uh, zoom in by pressing this uh, zoom in button here and using the middle mouse wheel to move around. And as you can see, we still have some green areas here that needs uh, smoothing out, and so we can augment the intensity of it. If you give it a second to update, and uh, you'll be able to see if something happens. And honestly, all you have to do is just adjust these sliders until you get a good, a good feeling, a good vibe going on. And that is pretty much done. That is looking fine. Uh, so we're going to zoom back out now we set this in full screen as you can see uh, you can't you can't tell it's a green screen it looks fine so uh, one a quick tip I'm going to show you is how to adjust the bottom layer because as you can see this is not lined up at all it's terrible the videos look like this the main focus is this uh, spaceship here you've got these people the beautiful scenery and uh, right now when you're looking at this you're looking at a bunch of flowers so that's not great so the last one i'm going to show you is how to adjust this bottom layer so the same thing here we can actually add a transform now to get this transform you can obviously go look for it or you can just type in transform and it's right here under the transform and distortion properties but i'm not patient enough to go find it uh just type it in and you can either adjust uh, these values here uh, to get some accurate readings with uh, if you want to delete, um, um, resize it, certain pixels, or you can just roughly do it by hand like this. There. Nah. 
uh, until you get something pretty much good and that seems pretty good to me so uh, yeah that is how to make a chroma key in um, in uh, the, 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 this program that I've forgotten the name already because I haven't used it forever so yes please like uh, comment subscribe and remember to shorten the clip if not it's going to play on with a black background now that's gonna do it for me thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one